Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to take you along for an Aldi grocery haul looking for some summer snacks for the kiddos especially when they have like neighbors and everything over i don't know my stash of food goes so quick and i always wanted to be that cool mom that always had snacks to offer to the kids so we're gonna do it on a budget at aldi also looking to pick up some dinner ideas I don't know about you guys, but sometimes in summer I get frustrated. It's like either you're going to grill, but you don't want to do too much cooking inside because it's like super hot outside. So you want to keep the inside as cold as possible. So probably going to look for maybe some like pasta salad ideas because we really enjoy that and see what else Aldi has. So let's go inside and check it out. One thing that I love is trying new salad dressings. So I haven't seen these before, these little salad bar dressings. Apple time. The one I'm going to try is avocado ranch. I hope this is a good one. I'll let you guys know if it's a keeper. One thing that is super expensive now is cookies. Check out those Chips Ahoy family size, almost $6 a pack. The thing that I love about Aldi, they have a ton of cookies for $1.55, $1.35, those cheaper Oreos for $1.99. You can really save a lot if you buy cookies huge savings and those savings you can use toward other essential items that you need. And speaking of savings, hello wheat thins. I don't care if they're generic for a dollar and six cents per box. That is what I'm talking about. Aldi definitely provides savings on products we purchase. Don't skip the seasonal item. They always have some really cute things. I noticed these signs um, and a lot of items were on clearance including candles and outdoor items. Now if you're not couponing you definitely should be couponing. One thing that I wouldn't purchase at Aldi just because through couponing deals we can get much cheaper. Actually a couple of things. Paper products and laundry products. $10.49. I think that's an Aldi brand detergent. Check out some of my videos. You can save huge couponing for these items. So here we go. I, got, I grabbed more than I actually wanted to, and today I brought Anthony's car. So it's going to be a tight fit, but I want to share with you guys what I picked up today. Before we go ahead and check out my haul, I would like to thank Pinecone Research for partnering with me on this video. Now, who knows best but good old mom, right? Moms know everything, and that is why Pinecone Research is looking for moms right now to test products and complete surveys on all of the products that they purchase for their family for everyday use. Getting started with Pinecone Research is so easy. It's basically three steps. Number one, complete a super easy sign up process. Two, start giving your opinions through surveys. And three, earn those rewards for sharing your thoughts. And Pinecone Research makes it real easy. You can do these surveys on your desktop or you can utilize their super user friendly app. A great perk about Pinecone Research is you get to complete surveys and tasks on your time. So. Family time is key and number one, you can complete tasks when the kids are napping or maybe um, when you're outside taking a break or on your lunch break, it's that convenient. Pinecone Research is by invite only, so take advantage of my invitation link in the description box below. They offer guaranteed payouts on the tasks that you complete, and you can go ahead, redeem for cash, or you can shop their extensive catalog with gift cards and so many amazing products to choose from. So how awesome is that to be rewarded for your opinion to test out products that your family uses and to earn points that you can redeem for either cash or amazing gift cards as well. So sign up with Pinecone Research. My link is in the description box of this video. Remember it's free, it's super easy, and you complete surveys on your time. And a very special thanks to Pinecone Research for partnering with me on this video. All right, so this is everything that I grabbed. Now keep in mind, I didn't grab too much meat because I have a freezer 
where I stock up on meat so we don't have to get that every grocery haul because meat is really expensive. And we're trying to do, you know, different meals. So it, the main portion obviously isn't meat, whether it's vegetables, salad, whatever we can do. So one thing that I noticed at Aldi really quick is a lot of ticket items, for instance, like cookies and things that I pointed out in the video, huge savings at Aldi. Um, these are very comparable to the Chewy Chips Ahoy. They're just as good um, and they're super cheap. I know at my Mariano store, they are $4 a pack. These are $1.49. So just grabbing an item like this at Aldi is a huge money saver. Um, the Wheat Thins, that was a great find. Um, great savings there. These particular sparkling frost drinks, which are very comparable to the sparkling ice, which are normally a dollar each at Walmart. 55 cents if you like these drinks. Something to really stock up on. And just making my own snacks, like I'm gonna make some Rice Krispie treats. And with the marshmallows, it's like $3, less than $3 to make them, like $2.50. So you can't go wrong. But let's go ahead and start. My kids love these Yo Crunch, especially the strawberry. Um, they don't have these very often. They don't have them at our grocery store. They don't have them at Walmart. They just have the vanilla. So I got um, a box of these. There's eight of each. So, oh no, eight total. I thought there was more than that, but eight total. Um, I ended up going with the pink lady apples because there were more in the bag. So even though it was like a dollar more than those, I think they were cosmic apples or something, that package you only got four. And with the kids especially, they don't need those big old apples. So this will go a little bit further. Some pasture raised eggs. Um, these were a really good price. Regular eggs were almost $3 at Aldi. I find that when we get the baby spinach at Costco, we end up throwing at least half of it away. It ends up going bad pretty quick. So this is a smaller container. It was a little bit pricey, but I feel like we'll eat it. I'll put it in salads. Anthony puts it in like omelets, in our shakes and things like that. Some of the Irish butter. Now veggies and fruits were pretty, you know, fairly priced at Aldi this week. So I did get some of those blackberries here. Um, we've got some tomatoes and then I also got some of the strawberries. Um, we've been making our own fries. So this is a five pound bag of potatoes. We can use them for that. If I'm cooking like chicken, I can just make a baked potato and I'm good to go. Um, if I'm making chili, I can just pile the chili on a baked potato. So um, didn't want to get the 10 pound bag. Probably could have or should have because it was only like $1.50 more. But I just, I feel like there's so much waste then and I'd rather eat what we get and then we can always buy new. I mean, potatoes, you know, we'll go through the bag, but you know, I might not buy one next haul. So we'll see. But um, some orange juice here. Here is the pasta salad with the 4th of July. Stores have been sold out of the box pasta salad. They had like the ranch and bacon. Um, these are just easy to make. I feel like usually when we barbecue, if I'm not making my own salads like potato salad or pasta salad, we're buying them at the store. This was $1.99, which I know these used to be a lot cheaper, but still it yields a lot. If you buy this at the deli, it's usually like $6 a pound. So you're going to get more grabbing these boxes. I got the kids a pepperoni pizza. I got myself and Anthony a pepperoni pizza. So we would make this for like dinner and then the kids would have leftovers for lunch. We're gonna be doing the flatbread pizzas. So my Aldi last time did not have the turkey pepperoni, which I prefer that. It's the same price, $2.49 as the regular pepperoni, but it's turkey. So I use this with the non-flatbreads, which you get four in a pack. These are so good. And then uh, the marinara sauce. And I already have mozzarella in the fridge, so I didn't grab any of that. Love the little muffin packs if we're going out and about for the day and we just, you know, bring something for the kids or, you know, they can grab something, bring it in the car. Raisin bread was under $2, which I know this was close to $3 last time I was at Aldi. So if you find items like this, you can always freeze them. Saltines, less than a dollar for a box. You know, the kids will sometimes have it with just a little bit of butter or, you know, a snack, soup if we have it, chili. Got some cilantro. I did get some tortilla chips here and some salsa. So I will add a little bit of cilantro into my salsa and Anthony's because we like that little extra kick. And then I'm gonna be making tacos too. So I'll use that extra cilantro for tacos. 
Not a huge fan of Aldi deli meat, but we do make these sandwiches where we'll take the deli meat, which here I have the smoked ham and the turkey breast. And then I did get some block cheese, which was under $2, and then some sliced cheese for our sandwiches. But we'll use that ciabatta bread, which they didn't have it at Aldi. Um, and I'll bake, I'll make the sandwiches. I put just a little bit of Italian dressing on there just to give it a little bit of flavor. Uh, bake it in the oven for just a few minutes. It gets a nice crunch. It's so good. So again, it was $173. I feel like, you know, we got some stuff, but again, groceries are crazy. Here is the crispy rice, rice crispy, same thing to me. So I got that with the mini marshmallows. This was like, I think $1.65. I will pop all the prices if you haven't seen already on screen. And then the mini marshmallows, I think were 99 cents. So, so it's gonna be less than $3 to go ahead and make a big batch of rice crispy treats, which is like double the boxes that they had at Aldi, which I think were $2.85. So essentially, and Rice Krispie Treats are so easy to make. So good thing. Needed some yellow mustard, which I probably get a yellow mustard. They expire before I need a new one and that's what happens. So I needed a new one because it expired. These are so good if you're gluten-free, these honey granolas. Um, I love them on my yogurt. Got some crunchy taco shells and I have some corn shells as well. These are great when you're in a pinch and you just need a little side item. These are 75 cents a pack, really good deal. And then I got some turkey bacon and I got two of these pork loin tenderloins here. So 483 and 407, I'll cook these in the crock pot together. So typically one is a serving for four. So we'll eat one and then I'll have another one for the next day or the day after. And then I'm just gonna make it with the potatoes there and I have some veggies in the freezer. So that's like a meal, that's two meals for less than $10 at Aldi. So really, really good. Here are those beverages, love them. Got some mini alphabet cookies, two boxes there. Those were $2.99. The wheat thins were an awesome deal. We have not tried, I don't like these macaroni and cheese. My kids love the one at Target, um, but I thought since I was at Aldi, why not try this? It's a little bit cheaper than Target. I know Target's is four dollars. This was a little bit under four, so we'll see how that goes. If you've tried it, let me know in the comments. There's the non bread for the pizzas. We've got some corn tortillas, great deal on the chocolate chip cookies. So, a big old container 24 cups of the um, ice cream cups. There, these are so much cheaper at Aldi. I think in our grocery store, they were like two something, they were under a dollar at Aldi. Some corn tortilla chips. We tried the gluten-free brownies. They were amazing. They didn't have them this time. So we're gonna go, we've made this before, the gluten-free uh, yellow cake mix. We're just gonna make some, um, again, trying to make my own kind of like treats and desserts. Um, so we're just gonna make cupcakes with that. And we've got the frosting. So I showed you guys in a video before, kind of like a knockoff Chick-fil-A sandwich. I know it's not the healthiest, I know, you know, people will comment, but I know, I know. But um, it's with the chicken breast fillets. You wanna make sure you're getting the fillets. These went up in price to $7.99. Um, and then the brioche buns. So I got a pack of those. These we got at Costco. Um, I didn't record the haul. These, the ones at Costco, you get a lot more, and I'm probably gonna be going to Costco very soon to grab some items that I didn't grab at Aldi. But these are so good for like, me and Anthony, we like to have afternoon, evening-ish coffee. So sometime after dinner and then a little snack. These are really, really, really good. And I think they're individually wrapped too. So like if you're putting them, taking them to work or something, you could do that. We've got cottage cheese here, a little bit of strawberry lemonade right there. I grabbed one, usually make my own, but I just grabbed one. Um, I have some sausage. So what I'm gonna do is just cook that up and then cook it uh, with the rice we can have that for a meal. Pretty excited, avocado ranch. So this dressing, I haven't seen it at my store, it's new. The dressing that I did love, I think it was called Green Goddess, it was at Costco. So it was, I believe, an avocado ranch dressing. So I'm hoping it's very similar to this. Costco has not had it in forever. They, Costco usually just has the Olive Garden dressing. So I'm hoping that's a keeper and I'm hoping it sticks around at Aldi. So stocking up the freezer too with some ice cream. We've got the cookies and cream. 
and the chocolate there. I did get some sprinkles. We have um, chocolate sundae, um, the chocolate, Hershey's chocolate, so we can uh, make sundaes, and I do have some Cool Whip, so the kids can use that. Grapes, this rice is amazing. So it's microwavable, it's super soft, it's super good. Um, we eat it with anything. If I make a lot of grilled chicken or things like that, it's just nice to have pork chops. So I've got two of those. Budget Saver Cherry Pineapple. So they had me a cherry pineapple because those are like two of my favorite things. So it's a 12 pack. Grab those, grab some ices here. We have the cherry blue raspberry. So we have a, some bunny friends and we're gonna be eating this too, but I wanted to make sure that we got some carrots and some more lettuce because I've been leaving them out food and they've been taking it. So it's been kind of fun for the summer. Um, so we grabbed that for our friends and that's it. So $173 at Aldi. I don't think it was terribly bad. Not as much necessity things that we need, some snacks, things like that. But um, there are some meals that I can use with some of these items. And I do plan on going to Costco. So if you wanna see a Costco haul, definitely thumbs up this video, comment below, and let me know. I wanna see Costco. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any great finds to share at Aldi, let us know, and we'll catch you in the next one.